I had a lady request uh, a tutorial for a granny square. She's having a baby in about a week, a little girl. So I thought I'd put this one, this tutorial on the fast track for her. Um, I'm using just regular yarn. I'm using a cream and a pink in honor of the little girl. Um, it is important that you can use whatever yarn you'd like, but follow the uh, suggested hook size on your yarn. This is just an acrylic yarn that I'm using. But it suggests that I use a size I crochet hook, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I'm going to start with a, a pink yarn. To begin, we're going to make our slip knot, and that's just going to be folding the tail end over. And we've got this loop here that we've created, and we just flop that loop down and over. And then we would pull this yarn up right through the middle and just pull down tight and that gives you an adjustable loop. So to begin this pattern we're going to chain a total of six. So we've got one on our hook. That's two, three, four, five, and six. And now we're going to slip stitch in the very first chain in order to form a ring. So if you can see that we're going right into there. We're going to yarn over and pull up. I like to put my finger right here through the center. And then you just pull through. And you can kind of adjust that, tighten it. So now to begin this, we're going to work a stitch that's called a cluster. So to begin, we're going to yarn over and we're going into the center, yarn over and we're going to pull up a loop and we're going to pull it up as high as we can, yarn over and pull through two loops. So we've got two left on our hook. We're going to repeat that for a total of three times, yarn over, going into the center of the ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We've got a total of three right now. Yarn over, go into the center, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, we're going to pull through two, and we've got a total of four left. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now at this point we're going to do a chain four, and this is going to create the corners. So we've got one on our hook, that's two, three, and four. So we're going to have a total of eight clusters when we're finished. So again, we're going to make another cluster, yarn over, going into the center, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go through the center and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. We've got a total of three loops left. One more time to finish this cluster, pull through two, We've got a total of four loops on our hook. Now we're going to yarn over and pull through all four. And this time we chain only two, so we've got one on our hook. That's two. Now again, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, making sure to pull your loops up tall. And one more time for this particular cluster stitch. And yarn over, pull through all four, and we're going to chain four. So we've got one, two, three, four. And again. Okay, this time we had a chain four, so now we're going to chain two, one, two. Repeat, another cluster. And pull through all four, 
and we're chaining four this time. So one, two, three, four, and again. And chain two. Oops. So now as you can see where we've got our chain fours that's creating like kind of the beginning of our square. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got two more clusters to make in the center. So at this point we finish this cluster. We've chained two. Let's do another cluster. We've got two more to do. four. So we have a chain two. This one's a chain four. One, two, three, four. And we've got one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've got one more to do. through all four and we finish off with chaining two and we're going to slip stitch into the top of this cluster so just going in right here Simply finish this off by cutting your yarn and pulling that loop up and tightening it down. And that finishes off our first round, which is the center. This is where we chain four, and this creates our four corners. And then you see the spaces in between? Those are our chain two spaces.